MUFC religion here and I'm back again in the video. So Rio Ferdinand has revealed his top three choices for Manchester United's transfer targets for this summer. Um, and he said that on the BBC Radio 5 uh, live 606 Savage Social podcast. And the top three targets he mentioned were Jadon Sancho, Kalido Koulibaly and Saul Niguez. So Jadon Sancho, he's a right winger, plays for Dortmund, Koulibaly, centre-back, plays for Napoli. And Saul, obviously we all know Saul, he plays for Atletico Madrid and he helped knock out Liverpool in the Champions League this season. And he said about Harry Kane as well, but he said Harry Kane's been linked, but if I'm pushing for an attacking player, I'd still go for Sancho. He gives you that little bit of imagination and I think he gives you that little bit of spice which they haven't got at the moment. And I absolutely agree to a certain degree. Um, you know, the signing of Bruno Fernandes has added a little bit of spice, so let's say. A uh, bit of innovation, a bit of creativity. Uh, Bruno Fernandes has sparked a new look on Man United team. But, you know, it can't stop with Bruno Fernandes. We need to sign X-Factor players. And what I think Fredon is trying to say is that Jadon Sancho, he has that X-Factor, that, you know, the, the name of the arrogance of a top, top player. And at the moment, obviously, he has reached new levels at Dortmund. But, you know, the step up, um, Rio Ferdinand is talking about the step up. Where, where does it go from there? Um, and Man United, number seven shirt, you know, being the face um, of the new look. Man United, the youth, you know, the pace, the creativity, the counter-attack. Um, Solskjaer is bringing back the United DNA. Um, and I know some of you may be sick of hearing the United DNA. But um, I'm slowly starting to believe in Solskjaer. I'm believing in the process, I'm believing in his transfers. Harry Maguire has been fantastic and statistically he's been, you know, the top two centre-backs in the Premier League. Juan Bissaka, he's been, he's been my player of the season so far. He's been absolutely incredible for us. Um, obviously, in the attacking third, Juan Bissaka needs to develop, we all know that. But, you know, defensively, we sorted um, with Juan Bissaka because the defending-wise, I think no other, you know, defender comes close to Juan Bissaka. His tackling... Um, his slide tackling is just incredible. His pace, his recovery pace is insane. Um, and then obviously Daniel James, he's got six assists in the Premier League, which in my opinion is really good. He wasn't expected to play as many games as he did, but considering the injuries we've got, you know, Daniel James had to play a lot more and he will develop. You know, he's got potential. He's a young player right now and he's a fantastic option to have off the bench um, after we sign. If we do end up signing Jaden Sancho, I think Daniel James on the bench in the 70th minute against defenders, that would be insane. So I would love to see Jaden Sancho, Koulibaly and Saul Niguez. So Koulibaly, um, he's, we all know he's a great centre-back. You know, one of the top, I think, top five centre-backs in the world. He's incredible. He's at Napoli. And in my opinion, he would be a fantastic addition to Man United. You know, that experienced centre-back signing, which you need, you need an experienced centre-back. Um, that has Champions League experience, that knows how to you know win games, um, and Koulibaly, he is that. He's a leader. He's a great you know player, as we all know. But at the moment, he's 29 years old. He's getting older. He's not going to get any younger. Will you know? Is he that suitable type of signing? Is he this type of signing that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will go for? I don't think so. I don't think he fits the profile of a signing that Solskjaer's you know new targets are. He wants young, hungry players, and I don't think Koulibaly fits that description. However, you know, the mix of experience, we need experience and we need youth. So we never know Koulibaly could end up, you know, joining or leaving Napoli, joining Man United and other clubs have been linked to him. For example, Barcelona, Tottenham Hotspur have been linked to him strongly as well. So we'll see what happens with Koulibaly. But, you know, I would welcome him at United. If we do end up signing him, he would be a fantastic addition to the team. And then Saul, Saul, I love him. I've always loved him. I let him Madrid when we've watched him play. He has been fantastic for them. You know, the way he carries the midfield, the way he carries himself on the pitch, he's that he's a great player. I would love to see him at Man United, you know, as a centre mid signing. Apparently Jack Grealish's transferred fees are around eighty million, which is quite a lot for a player. Um like Jack Grealish, especially if Aston Villa do relegate and um, they still want eighty million. And I don't think he's worth eighty million. Um compared to Saul. I think Saul is worth seventy five million, which is the transfer fee. That has been reported for Saul because he's got that experience. You know, he's got playing at the top level for many, many years. He played against Barcelona, Real Madrid, uh, in the Champions League against Liverpool. He was fantastic. So we know he can do it. He's got the capability to play in big, big games and also against the lower level teams. The way you know his performances don't dip, he actually provides more of an impact. So Saul, he would be a fantastic signing for Man United. I would love to see that happen. Will it happen? Obviously, we're not sure. This is just Rio Ferdinand's top three targets. So it's Jaden Sancho, Koulibaly and Saul Niguez. So anyways, let me know what you think about these players in the comments below. 
Let me know other players you would like to see signed for Manchester United. It's been MUS Religion. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.